and welcome to Script Tonight React. I'm Script Tonight. Today we're going to be watching season three, episode two of Fargo. This episode is called The Principle of Restricted Choice. So we had a hell of a lot happen in the first episode and what I got from that episode was that this season is going to be dark, the comedy is going to be black and it's going to get weird. <laughs> That's what I got from the first episode and I'm completely in for the ride. So without further ado, let's have at it. That house is supposed to be, oh, I don't want to see his dead face again. They showed me anyway. And again? Right. Fuck's sake. Thaddeus Mobley. So is that your son's that? No, it can't be because that we said nine. <clears throat> yeah, but uh, new chief showed up early. And wants to gather the department together first thing. So since the department is you and me, I figured I'd come and get you. Ooh, is that coffee? Yeah. He's cherry. Is that the box you took from Ennis's? Uh huh. You think this Thaddeus Mobley fella had something to do with the murder? I should say so. Seen as how Ennis Stussy and this Thaddeus Mobley are one and the same. Come again? What? Ennis is Thaddeus Mobley. Well, let's go see if I still have a job. You going by the autopsy later? They glued his nose and mouth shut. Are we thinking cause of death is somehow a cliffhanger? I guess not. <laughs> Did you canvas the local? Any reports of strange customers? Oh my god, hang on! Well, Earl at the guest. Of course, that's how he died. They glued his nose, nose and mouth shut. I wasn't even taking that in. I was too busy being freaked out at his eyes and just the greyness. Oh, that's awful. Oh, sorry to interrupt you both. Play. I'm going to make it. He might have had a weird one. Ron, it's Gloria. Gloria. Hold on, I'll call you. But... Gosh. Does yours do that? Who? Oh. Every time I make a call, it's like I'm in a silent movie. Oh, come on. <sighs> I'm here, right? You see me? Is that a trick question? <laughs> That's gonna take some, take me a while to get that name in. If I accidentally call her Nora, I apologize. VM Varga. VM Varga. You borrowed a million dollars from a man without knowing his first name. I know how it's it... not a question. I'm just assessing the level of stupidity. <sighs> hey, I need you to do some digging on this guy. His outfit. Now we gave you his card, and the card his reps gave to us last year. You have the loan document on which is a phone number and a mailing address. There's also a corporate ID number. So unless you got the brains of a monkey, you should be able to friend this cocksucker on Facebook and reel him in. And then? Then we get him to take his money back and forget he ever met us. Just like that. Just, just, okay. That's, that's how it's not gonna go, I'll tell you that. Why does he look so much younger than his brother? He looks like 20 years younger. I think I was too hard on him. Irv? Ray, at the anniversary party. Look, he... It's been a long time coming. You saying no to him. A man like that, used to blaming others for his... Maybe I should just give him the stamp. And you're the goddamn parking lot king of Minnesota. He doesn't want the stamp, pal. He wants your life. The parking lot king of Minnesota. <sighs> Deb? What's it doing? You hear it enter? What's enter? It's a... Fuck me. 
What's enter? Huh? Now what do I... Uh... Jesus. Why are you, what are you doing Wait. this? Now he's in your... Now he's in your computer. What happened? Did I... Someone didn't aware, didn't attend the online safety awareness course. Fuck me. Is it the power? Could it at all be related to the fact we just clicked on a dodgy link? I'll call the IT kid that surely knows. <laughs> Stravette, as the Bulgarians say. Pardon? Ni hao is the Chinese. The Corsicans use the simple salu and guten tag if Germans, you think. Why does he make me feel so uncomfortable? Because we arrive together, we are together, surmise. Well, are you? Yes. I think it's the teeth. Can't park that here. We got, city's got an ordinance. Now it's perfectly fine. Mr. Stassi himself gave me permission. Look, mister. We're done here. What is happening? What the music, right? What the hell is this noise? And why is the gear stick shaped like I don't know what? in there look like it was shaking like he said he's got permission you, no i won't say from mr stussy i'm not gonna create the implication of foreknowledge of fo no one before the fact <laughs> J to see this bullshit in the paper yeah some old timer out in the country they Push in his front door, tie him up. He, he runs a uh, general store, and some hopped-up junkie thinks he takes the register money home. Could have been you, Emma. Ennis Stussy. 82 years old. Seems there's a big rig parked there now. In the lot? Mm hmm And I'm a little troubled by the escalation. Money loaned is one thing, but this, a truck full of, well, could be anything. Booze, guns, kind of demeanor this fella has. You think maybe it's... I don't even want to say it out loud. Slave girls? That's what I was thinking. I was going to say drugs. You think it's slave girls? I'm serious. I think it's slave girls. I mean, he's capable, this Varga fella, don't you think? Just from the one meeting. Go to the police. We got to wait and see what Irv turns up. Than whatever dirt we use to extricate ourselves overall. It's not even a proper police station. Where do you keep prisoners? There's a storeroom, uh, computer boxes. Wait, you said computer boxes. Where are the computers? They're in the boxes. Chief doesn't like computers. Oh, you don't like them? It's not that I don't like them. I don't like them, but that's not the old way works. Pause. I just, I've got to get this out of my system, but I'm all about curriculum and I, but. That's it. I just have to get it out. Play. Just fine. Type out a report, send it via telex. You know what year it is, right? The future. We don't use to Who uses telexes anymore? So that's why no one ever writes me back. As much as I want to hear about this future you come from, I got a potential witness to interview who may have seen our perp guest up on his way out of town, so I'm gonna... You know what? I'm gonna go ahead and pretend you didn't just mouth off to me like my teenage daughter. Excuse me? And I'm gonna go ahead and let you brace your witness. And then I'm gonna let you take a few days off to grieve. But this is a done deal. You're being absorbed by the county, you work for me now. Wow. What a dick. And then this fella comes in. Fella singular? If singular means just one, and he's looking for wants to know do I have a phone book? And you're saying this fellow was Russian? Yes, ma'am. From like an accent or? Well, I can't really see. Russian? What the fuck are you talking about? 
tears a page out, which it's a public book, which meant for everyone. So I raise a ruckus. <laughs> hey, gotta take this as evidence. Evidence he was looking for Ennis's house, but didn't know the address. Chief Burgle. Her name is Gloria Burgle. That's insane. We still got that car with the rack. The what's that now? The brunette with a nutcracker caboose. Well, whatever she calls it. I'd like to butter that bread. Fuck off. Look, uh, go away with it, for now. Is that, is that a stussy sign right outside the window? So he's got like his brother's success in his face all day. Ooh. That was glorious. It was truly glorious. Maurice, his cause of death, misadventure by major appliance, which is, that's good, right? We dropped a 200 pound AC on an ex con, and yeah, it looks like the cover up's working, but there's a long way to go before we're out of the woods here. Yeah. Ow. What the heck? There's something wrong with your chi. The what's that? It's like your energy flow. You're. You're all blocked up, babe. We can't have that. Life's a journey, you know? I, I gotta be honest. I got some remorse. Of course you do. You're not a heartless killer. You got the soul of a poet. I do. You bet. <laughs> the body of a blancmange. Like you said, it was an accident. Plus, we'll be out of here today. I gave a fake ID to the cops. The apartment's rented under an assumed name. Anybody thinks to follow up and it's just a dead end. Even if they wanted to solve it, the police, what possible solve is there besides unfathomable pinheadery? She makes good point. You've thought of everything. That's us. That and action. The next Burt Lurdsman Grand National Champions. She is awesome. Don't get any ideas, mister. I'm on my period. <clears throat> you know what it is, don't you? The blockage. It's your stupid brother. We're just gonna have to do it ourselves. Do the stamp. Get the stamp what? back. No. I felt bad about how we left things and you know, the thing between us and always fighting. Me too. Uh, I felt bad too. That's not a stamp. Well, I can't believe you're saying this, Back. kid. After all, let me finish. It's not, you know, easy. She is prepared. After all these years. Me too. <laughs> no hugging. <gasps> Ooh. What the fuck? Is it short a period?
but I was disgusted.